Dear students, this is question number 4 from Pure Math 2, Pearson and Excel A-level exam. Exam was taken by October 2023. In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying on calculator technology are not accepted. f of x equals 4x cubed plus ax squared minus 29x plus b. Where a and b are constants, given that 2x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. Show that a plus 4b equals to negative 56. This question could be solved by using a remainder theorem. A remainder or factor theorem, okay. So, we will start with the fun given function. As we know that uh, 2x plus 1 is factor of f of x. Therefore, you can use the value of x from here. Substitute, like uh, you can get the value of x from here uh, by using this equals to 0 implies that value of x will be equals to minus 1 by 2. Substitute this value in the given equation. f of 1 over 2, you know that this is the remainder and here replace x with 1 over 2. 1 over 2 cube plus a into 1 over 2, uh, sorry it is negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2 square minus 29 into negative 1 over 2 plus b. We know that 2x plus 1 is a factor. Therefore, this will be equals to 0. Remainder will be equals to 0 by remainder theorem. Okay. This is a remainder. Remainder will be 0 if uh, 2x plus 1 is a factor. If I say 2 is factor of 8, you know that uh, 2 is exactly dividing 8 and remainder is 0 in that case. Whenever this thing is given in the question that 2x plus 1 or something is factor of the given uh, polynomial, then remainder is always equals to 0. Simplifying this one, we will get here uh, minus 1 over 8. So this will be equals to 1 over 4 a minus and minus plus. It will be 29 by 2 plus b. We know that uh, we can simplify this. Uh, 4 can be cancelled out and we get here minus 1 by 2. What is the highest denominator here? That is 4. Easiest way to get rid of the denominator, we multiply by the highest denominator. Okay, multiply by 4. If you multiply each term by 4, we get 0 here, 0 multiply 4 is 0. And once you get minus 1 over 2 multiply 4, you will get the answer. Uh, 2 will cancel 4, so we get negative 2. And uh, 4 is cancelled out from here, so it will be A. Uh, again, it will cancel 4 will uh, two, uh, divide by 2 and you get 2, 2 multiply 29 will be 58. And 4 will multiply by B, you get 4B. Therefore, we can write as A plus 4B plus 56 equals to 0. And A plus 4B is equals to minus 56, negative 56. It is as required, as required in the question. as required okay so we want this a plus 4b equals to minus 56 let's solve for the next part given also that when f of x is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is negative 25 in this case we will use x equals to 2 by putting x minus 2 equals to 0 the value of x will be 2 in the same equation and we will use the remainder negative 25 similar way okay for the second part we know that <coughs> x minus 2 equals to 0 and implies that x will be equals to 2 and you will get f of 2 by using the this value of x in the given function f of x just replace x with 2 in uh, this time okay so f of 2 will be equals to <coughs> 
फोर इंटू टू क्यूब प्लस ए इंटू टू स्क्वेयर माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन इंटू टू प्लस बी यू नो वी विल रिप्लेस एक्स विद टू हियर ओके एक्स विद टू ओनली दैट्स इट ओके एंड वी नो दैट द रिमाइंडर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज द रिमाइंडर ओके दिस रिमाइंडर विल बी नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी फाइव विल यूज हियर नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड सिंपलीफाइ राइट साइड टू क्यूब इज एट एट मल्टीप्लाई फोर इज थर्टी टू टू स्क्वेयर इज फोर सो इट इज फोर ए माइनस फिफ्टी एट प्लस बी नाउ कीप फोर ए प्लस बी ऑन वन साइड सॉल्व यू नो वी विल सॉल्व दिस एंड दिस वैल्यू इट इज थर्टी टू माइनस फिफ्टी एट थर्टी टू माइनस फिफ्टी एट इज नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड यू विल टेक दिस ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू द लेफ्ट साइड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज ऑलरेडी देयर ओके एंड यू विल प्लस ट्वेंटी सिक्स हेयर होपली यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टेप ओके I kept 4a and b on one side, and then uh, after solving uh, 32 and minus 58, we will bring that value to the left side. So negative 25 plus 26 will be one, and we get uh, another equation in terms of a and b that is equals to 4a plus b equals to one. So this is the second part. Uh, this is what uh, we want. Okay, in second part only. you need to write uh, a link and equation with respect to a and b only for the third part hence using algebra and showing your working uh, find the values of a and b to find the values of a and b now we have two equations okay this one a plus 4b and 4a plus b uh, you know that uh, to solve these two equations uh, we must have uh, coefficients of the variables should be equal because uh, here coefficient of b is uh, 1 in the other equation coefficient of b is 4 so we can get here 4 again and uh, just multiply this equation by 4 so we can take this value 4a plus b equals to 1 multiply by 4 so we get here 16 16a plus 4b is equals to 4 okay uh what is the other equation other equ equation from part a that is a plus 4b equals to negative 56 a plus 4b equals to negative 56 a plus 4b equals to negative 56 now the coefficients of both equations are same therefore we can change the signs you know this is minus so it will be plus it is my plus it is minus and this is plus and this will be minus therefore we can solve now 16a minus a is 15a and this will be cancelled out for sure okay so 15a is equals to 56 plus 4 is 60 and a will be equals to 4 so we get the value of a you can use this value in this equation we know that 4 into replace a with this value okay plus b is equals to 1 So it is sixteen. Sixteen goes to the other side. It will be minus one minus sixteen, and where answer of B will be minus fifteen. So we got the answer for first part in C. This is the answer for first part in C. Okay. A is four and B is negative fifteen. Now. For the next part, we know that 2x plus 1 is factor of uh, this polynomial. Uh, therefore, we can factorize fully f of x. Uh, f of x is 4x cubed. Just replace, uh, use the values of a and b in f of x. What is f of x now? Let's see. For the second part. F of x is 4x cube plus a x square. So a is 4. Therefore, we can write as 4x square. 
minus 29x plus b means minus 15. So this is f of x. As we know that 2x plus 1 is a factor, one of the factor of this polynomial, okay. So we can divide this one by 2x plus 1. Uh, in first part it is given that 2x plus 1 is the factor, okay. That is why we got the remainder 0 here, okay. Uh, now, to one factor is already given, there will be three vectors because highest power is 3, so we will get three factors here. So one factor is already given, we can find the other two factors by using long Duyen method. Long Duyen method is easier, okay. So use this polynomial here, 4x cube plus 4x square minus 29x minus 15 and divide it by 2x plus 1. It is exactly divisible by this, okay. First of all, what is the rule? We will multiply this 2x by such a number that we get the first value. 2x multiplied 2x square will give you 4x cube. Okay, 2x square will give you 4x square. 2x square multiply 2x plus 1, we get 4x cube. And 2x square multiply 1 is 2x square. Then we minus them by rule. This will be cancelled out every time. 4 minus 2 is 2x square. And we will drop the other values down here, okay? 29x and minus 15 here. Then uh, we will multiply 2x by such a number that we get 2x square. So that is only plus x. So x multiply 2x is 2x square. And x multiply 1 is x. Then we minus it, minus, and first value will be cancelled out. And solve these two. So minus 29 minus 1 is minus 30, negative 30x minus 15 so we will multiply 2x by such a number that we get minus 30 so it will be minus 15 for sure therefore minus 30x minus 15 and it is cancelled out and answer is 0 remainder is 0 and we got the other factor okay terms for the given function are we can write here f of x equals one factor is the 2x plus 1 and other factor we just got it that is 2x square this one okay 2x square plus x plus minus 15 2x square plus x minus 15 so this is other factor but this is not complete factorization uh, here highest power is 2 there, there are two more factors here we can get it uh, what is the rule how to further factorize this quadratic just uh, multiply 2 by negative 15 we get here negative 30 okay so uh, there are what are the pairs for 30 1 multiply 30 2 multiply uh, 15 and 3 multiply 10 and 5 multiply 6 we will choose that pair that will make 1 the middle number okay the middle number we will separate the middle number to factorize it further okay we will choose 5 and 6 this will give you 1 but we want plus 1 therefore minus 5 multi plus 6 give you negative 30 and if you solve these two numbers you get the middle number now you can separate the middle number by using these two numbers so it will be 2x plus 1 and here you can write as 2x square uh, plus 6x minus 5x still it is 1x okay minus 15 from here we will take something common so common from these two numbers is 2x so it left with x plus 3 okay 2x multiply x is 2x square and 2x multiply 3 is 6x and from the last two numbers negative 5 is common so it is x plus 3 now if you observe this question this one from here uh, this x plus 3 is again common between these two so you can take it out of the bracket and uh, we can write as x plus 3 common and in the next bracket you write the numbers left over there that is 2x minus 5 so these are three factors and it is called complete factorization okay this is fully factorized so second part is done question 4 is done hopefully you understand it